How's it going guys? We're back at it again. Today what we're gonna be doing with Mr. AZ Ultra Runner, Ramon. What are we doing today, man? Today we are going to be installing this beautiful Arcadia bifold accordion door. And where did I get this door from? Oh, Butler Custom Doors, of course. In Tucson, Arizona. Absolutely, Jill Kaiser, the one and only. Talk to Jill if you need some beautiful pivot doors or bifold doors, slider doors. Um, the Arcadias are really nice and beautiful. And if you're in the area, Tucson, kind of southern Arizona, talk to Butler Custom Doors. And Jill, she'll give you the handyman hookup. I don't know what that means, but... It's worth it, it's worth a shot. Right? <laughs> it's worth a it's shot, worth a shot. <laughs> exactly. So we've got a three panel bifold downstairs and then we've got more of a standard slider going upstairs. And we're gonna show you how it's all done. So here's the threshold right there. Really nice, beautiful. Matte black, of course, or bronze or dark bronze, whatever they call it, but then we got the side tracks and our top track. And this is all Ramon does. He does this high-end, custom, cool-ass shit. This is my jam. This is, this is my deal. And what's the term? So glazer? Glazer. That is correct. G-L-A-Z-I-E-R. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's not donuts, that's for sure. <laughs> that's true. So he just works on these custom doors, windows, glass, all that kind of stuff. And if you need, if you need help in the area, he's... Uh, Let's make, some, let's make some cool stuff happen. Let's, let's do it. Ooh, where have I been? Where have I been? I'm in the middle of about three different projects right now in the house, so I haven't finished those videos yet, but very, very soon. All right, so one quick little tip here from Ramon uh, to measure basically the plumb of the door or to get the plumb of the door nice and fast in there is to use your laser to make a mark on where the bottom of the frame is going to be and where the top of the frame is going to be. Then when you slide that door in, that door frame in, you know it's going to be right on the money. You don't need to use a, uh, a level. And now the next thing that Ramon is doing here is to ensure that the, uh, the bottom threshold is going to be uh, perfectly level is that he's got his laser set up on the left side of the screen there you can't really see it but he's just uh, noting on the painters tape how much the threshold needs to come up so we'll see this in a second here so there's his little laser level and now we see this is zero so you don't have to make any adjustments he's got to go up a sixteenth up a sixteenth and then on the farthest side here, he's just got to go up an eighth of an inch. And these black little shims, they are 1 16th thick. So he can just label those out and put them on and then we're good to go. We did forget, and this is what we're doing here, is that um, with this low threshold um, or low profile threshold, is that um, a portion of it is recessed into the concrete. So we, uh, we realized that afterwards, we're like, oh, we got to cut a track here for it. So we're just getting that track cut out and then chiseling it out and then we can slide that door frame right in. fitted the frame just to make sure that um, we cut the channel wide and deep enough and it was so Ramon can put his shims back into place and put a beta cock on either side of that uh, recessed area there so you can see how easy it is for him to get the door plumb you just have to line up those lines throw a couple shims in there, and then we know that it's perfectly plumb. You don't even need to put a level on it. Now this is another great tip for getting uh, basically the sides of the door uh, perfectly plumb. So he's got his laser set up so that basically he's got an even number at the first screw, so say like three inches or something like that. He goes up to the next screw and see how far it needs to come in or go out and then uses shims to make up the difference and then just double checks it with the laser and then screws it down. And he did that all the way around the door and then that just makes sure that our, uh, the sides of the door there are perfectly plumb. Dude. 
So it's really awesome to see how this door goes together and Ramon's a great guy to work with. He's a uh, fellow plant-based brother and uh, he does some great quality work. Dude. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. You crushed it, man. How many adjustments did you have to make? Like one set and that was it. Damn. Which is fabulous. Plum level square, perfection. So all that work that you kind of saw, how he was using the laser to get the jams just like perfect or the sides of the door perfect. Just all making sure, sure it works perfectly. Damn, man. Fabulous. That's it. That was me and you, buddy. We did it. We did it. We were trying, we were gonna try to get the updoor slider done, but I mean, we, we had to finish this. It's so good. <laughs> A lot to it for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you guys need any help with cool doors like this, you can talk to this guy right here, Ramon. See you guys soon. I wasn't planning on doing an entire video on just this one door, but it was pretty interesting to see how it all goes together. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>